Steel is an integral part of modern life. From the multi-story buildings we live and work in, to the cars we drive and the appliances we use, steel is everywhere. It is a product we cannot do without. But making steel is a carbon-intensive process that produces large quantities of greenhouse gases that cause climate change. Steel production accounts for 7 to 9% of the global carbon dioxide emissions. As our planet becomes steadily hotter and extreme weather events more frequent, decarbonizing industry and production, including steel manufacturing, can achieve significant global emission reductions to slow climate change. ArcelorMittal South Africa is the leading steel producer in Southern Africa. ArcelorMittal South Africa has ambitious targets to reduce their CO2 emissions. The placement of the Saldana Works plant into care and maintenance in 2020 resulted in the loss of jobs and had a significant impact on the local economy. Transforming the plant to meet a global demand being created for green steel products will provide an opportunity to restart steel production and bring back much needed jobs. A key step in the steel making process is conversion of iron ore to direct reduced iron which is created by reducing iron ore with carbon monoxide. This removes the oxygen from the ore, but also releases carbon dioxide. Fortunately, the carbon monoxide can be replaced by hydrogen. When hydrogen reacts with the iron ore at high temperatures, it also removes the oxygen but releases water instead of carbon dioxide. To ensure that the direct reduced iron production process is carbon lean, the hydrogen it uses must be produced through electrolysis powered by renewable energy. Acilometal's Saldana Bay plant is ideally positioned to be an early mover to produce direct reduced iron using green hydrogen. We have a Matrix DRI plant uh, on site and this uh, plant is capable of producing 1.2 million tons of DRI per annum. It can also be easily converted to a green DRI production plant compared to the traditional fossil fuel based uh, DRI plants. This plant got existing licenses. We have the atmospheric emission license that linked to air quality. We got the waste management license. We are zoned as industrial. The Saldana Bay area has significant uh, renewable energy potential. It has a solar capacity of more than 25% and wind uh, capacity factor of more than 40%. We are so ideally situated here at the west coast of South Africa. It's like five kilometers away from the port of Saldana. That port of Saldana is the deepest natural port in the southern hemisphere. We have existing rail infrastructure. From the mine, inside of the mine, that railway line starts where iron ore is uploaded on the railway wagons, transporting it all the way from the Northern Cape to the port of Saldana. Arsenal Metal South Africa owns a significant amount of, of vacant land, about uh, 5,000 hectares of land around the plant, which can be used for the development of the green hydrogen facilities. The plant is located near Freeport, Saldana. Freeport Sultana is a designated special economic zone, part of the special economic zone program for the South African government. We also have a customs controlled area designation across about 70% of our footprint. So we offer a unique advantage to manufacturers uh, coming into the zone. So Arsenal Middle South Africa sees partnership as, as key into developing a viable hydrogen direct reduced iron project. We have uh, partnered with local large scale industrial players in order to develop hydrogen production facilities and the necessary renewable energy supply which will be, be key to the production of this hydrogen direct reduced iron. 